Hi there, I'm a builder and one of the mods that I use mostly in creative building is world edit. But world edit can be really overwhelming, there are a lot of commands that are included in this mod and today I'll show you guys the most useful ones to use. So let's start off with the first command being slash slash wand. This gives you the infamous wooden axe. With this wooden axe you can click on uh, blocks to select a grid. So let's click this one with the left mouse button. Go a little bit over here and click this block with the right mouse button. Now when we do slash slash set and select our block, let's go for stone right now. It will turn the selection that we made into stone. This also works when it's elevated. So let's do the left mouse click on this block and the right mouse click over here. When we do slash slash set, uh, let's do something like glass. It will turn the whole thing into glass. Now let's say that the surrounding block over here you would like to be stone. So you can just select this one over here and then this one over here. If you want to set it to stone, you notice that the glass itself will also turn into stone because it was one inside of the ground earlier. Maybe you made a mistake, you just type in slash slash undo. But if you did not want to undo the undo, <laughs> you can do slash slash redo to get it back. Keep in mind that when you do undo something, that the selection you made is still uh, in order. So if I want to turn the grass into stone over here, I can do slash slash replace the grass, and it is a grass block, not the regular glass, into stone. It will turn out like this. So still having the same selection from here to over here. I type in the command slash slash replace stone into stone, 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 and cobblestone. This means that 20% of the blocks will turn into cobblestone and the rest stays as a stone. As you can see like this. This is a very easy way to mix up some blocks and get a little randomized pattern going. If I want to replace uh, some of the stone again, so now the cobblestone will stay intact. Let's see stone and then turn it into a uh, stone, gravel, uh, maybe some coarse dirt, uh, some puzzle. There we go. If you are in world edit creating a gigantic city, you can create some easy paths like so. I don't really particularly like this block combination per se, but it does work. I think this concludes step one, which are the easiest to use uh, commands. Now let's go to the second one. First of all, let's have a little bonus tip over here. If you do slash up one, so not double slash, but just one slash up one, it will place a glass block beneath your feet. If you can easily click get this whole area. So I want to copy this and place it right over here. The one thing that you might want to uh, keep in mind is the place where you're standing is the place you're copying from. So I'll stand on this corner right over here. Just slash slash copy. Then walk this way. So when I stand over here, that is the corner I copied from, which should mean that it will be from this point that way. So let's do slash slash paste. And there we have it. The same design, copy it over right over here. Let's undo this for a little bit. If I really like this design, but I was like, you know what, I kind of want to rotate it. You can just do slash slash rotate and then 90. So this way it's rotated 90 degrees. Keep in mind that it will rotate clockwise. So now uh, instead of having it here, it will be like so. So now when we do slash slash paste, it will be right over here. Yeah, they kind of do look the same, but you can see that this uh, little reversed L is on this side over here. So it is rotating ever so slightly. <laughs> of course, rotating it by 90 degrees uh, is the easiest form of rotating it, but you can also rotate it by smaller margins, uh, which means that they will look a bit more weird. But if you paste it right now, it is in some sort of a diagonal. So this does work, but keep in mind that uh, your builds might look a little wonky like this one over here. Now moving on to easy building stuff. One command that I really like to use is the slash slash H sill. So you have the H over here stands for hollow and sill stands for a cylinder. Let's uh, get I don't know, some stone bricks instead of only stone, stone bricks. Uh, and then we want the diameter, uh, which I will place as four over now. And then I want it to be 10 blocks high. As you can see, we have a tower. And the way that this works is uh, this is the middle block, the block that I stood on. As you can see over here, I typed in four, which means that from this block, one, two, three on the fourth over here is where the wall will be placed on every side. So this is 
you kind of don't count the block that you're standing on, and then one, two, three, four. Or you can count it as this is one where you're standing on two, three, four, and then the block after that is where the wall will be. Then the ten, as I have over here, is how tall it is. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's undo it for a little bit to show you guys uh, what you can do with this as well. The mixing and matching also works over here. So let's uh, get a couple of stuff. Do it like so. Here you go. Now we have a mixed block tower, which in itself looks kind of cool, but I like to uh, do a little gradient on these kind of stuff and mix them myself. But this certainly doesn't look too shabby. By the way, uh, this is a hollow cylinder. You can also make it uh, non-hollow, so filled in. But I like to do them hollow because in that, uh, because that way you just have the walls itself instead of having all of this filled in as well. Now let's say you want to make a little castle, you can easily, over here, let's get this block over here, and then let's get a little block over here. You can then remove those blocks again. Okay, so let's copy it from this space over here, slash slash copy, move a little bit to the side over here, let's go over here paste it okay let's go a little bit this way paste it again and then to connect it up with the final piece which this is a bit too far let's see is it connected i think it is this block over here paste it again now we have four towers so let's from this block to this block over here just do a slash slash sat and then get the same block so we had stone bricks so brick stone cobblestone and ender side so now we have a wall in the middle and then we can do that on every single bit over here and this is the way that if I build stuff like this that I like to do it. So now we have, uh, well, kind of a little castle in the middle over here. But you could also have made this part over here with a wall, then copy it, rotate it around and place it in each and every corner. There's also another command that I know, uh, which is uh, slash slash h sphere. Here, let's do this one out of uh, acacia wood. <laughs> acacia planks it is. Let's do uh, five. And as you can see, now we have a, uh, a ball, a sphere. If you're stood on the ground, let's go over here. Do the same thing, but make it out of press blocks. And let's make this one a uh, seven. Now you have yourself a little mount, so you can easily make a nice looking hobbit hole. Let's remove a couple of blocks over here, getting your spruce. Obviously the building, most of it, you still have to do yourself. Well, I've just quickly built in a giant door over here, but you get the idea. You can make a very easy hobbit hole over like this. I kind of made the door a bit too big, but, you know, it doesn't really matter. And obviously right now we are in a uh, super flat world. But let's say you like this castle a lot and you want to have it in a different world. Well, you can easily do that. Let's get this block over here so we have the grass as well. And then uh, go over here and just go up one again. In this corner and let's stand uh, let's do in front of it like so we first do slash slash copy slash slash schematic save and then give it a name with the castle now you have the castle and go to a different world let's just go to uh, this one over here because I haven't really done anything over here yet let's see we have uh, a little space over here We'll just paste it in. Here we do. Slash slash schematic load castle. And now you can just paste it in with slash slash paste. It is behind me because I was facing the wrong way apparently. But now we have this castle that we built in the super flat world over here in the other world. It's really quick and easy and you can just do that like so.
So this is like the little problem with copying in stuff, but you can uh, then by hand or with other tools kind of smoothen out the terrain surrounding the castle itself. Because right now you can kind of see that it was pasted in, but that's okay. The last thing that I want to showcase is a bit more difficult. It's kind of an advanced uh, technique, I would say, but it is brushes. So get yourself uh, something, anything, you can assign us a brush. I just got myself an amethyst shard, it doesn't have to be an amethyst shard, it can be anything that's in that, just get an ink sack or something like that. The slash brush, apply, and then what I like to do is uh, sphere, sphere, item, and then let's do stone. So now when you hold it, you just get a ginormous block of stone. And what you can do with this is make terrains. So let's uh, try and make a little mountain out here, real quick. You can also hold them in to kind of like draw, but I find that a bit harder to uh, to maneuver. Okay, let's just have something like this for now, because it's only for showcase purposes. Then what we'll do is let's get a, a different brush. In this case, I'll just get the amethyst shard, slash brush, apply. In this case, we'll do a, sil a cylinder. Item, and let's do sand because it falls down and it's really nice to have. And then you spam this one, it kind of smoothens everything out. Spam it over top. And what I like to do is just kind of cover every single bit over here. So just go around everything, make sure that uh, there is a little bit up top everywhere. And uh, let's, let's get a little pro tip over here. Let's replace this one to red sand and do that on the top, the very, very tip top. And you'll see why in a little second. Okay, something like that. Need a bit more sand, I can see. Let's check it out if there's a little bit of sand everywhere. Let's do it a little bit like so. I think there is. Now let's get yet again another brush. We'll do a honeycomb, I think. And we'll do brush smooth. Brush smooth and let's get something like five. And now drawing this out a little bit, it kind of smoothens out the whole thing that we just made. So the mountain was looking uh, really, really blocky. Of course, it is Minecraft. It <laughs> needs to look blocky, but you know what I mean. Just dragging this up a little bit, it smoothens out the structure that we just made. Make it look a bit more realistic. You can also adjust the brush size if you want. If you want to be a bit more precise. But I think this looks nice enough. Now what we can do with the regular wand is let's get the entire uh, location over here. So let's just do up one. Click this one. Go all the way to the other side of the mountain. Let's just actually go a bit further and click it down a bit further below, over here. Now what we can do is slash slash replace sand to the grass blocks. So there's grass on top instead of the sand, and when we do the red sand, we can transform that to snow. And I did snow layers, let's do undo, kind of wanted snow blocks. Like so. And obviously this one is not perfect because I did it kind of quickly. You want to uh, have a bit more finesse if you're doing this to build actual mountains. But it doesn't look too bad. And I mean it is way better than just clicking in all of the blocks individually. So one other thing you can also do, I was a bit too quickly with it, is uh, we need a, a cylinder item. Not sure if bone meal works, I don't think so, but we can do grass. And just kind of click that on top of the mountain itself. And once again, make it look a bit more pretty. Now this also, no, this doesn't place down on the stone, luckily. And just kind of draw that in over here. And then have a few pieces of actual grass on top of here. 
but it looks uh, a bit more pretty. Just something like that. And as you can see, this kind of looks like a naturally generated mountain, sort of. But we did it in, uh, I think, like five minutes. So those are the basic commands that I wanted to show you today so you can get started with world edit and once you have mastered all of these commands you can look into the slash slash help and see every other uh, little command that we have over here. There's a lot of useful stuff, also a lot of stuff that you never really use. But thank you guys so much for watching, I hope this was useful and I hope to see you in a different video. Thanks for watching, bye bye!